This video will go through the steps of disassembling, replacing seals, and reassembling our Sentry model PR2 auto sampler. We begin by removing the cover plates. Note the condition of this channel mounted to the inside of the top cover plate. This is the guide for the sample tube and needs to be in good, complete condition. Next you'll remove the sampler housing which contains the seals and the packings by removing the four 5 16 bolts through the flange. It may be necessary to set the sampler on the floor. Pull the sampler body and tube separate from the housing. Removal of the sample tube is done via a sharp blow to the guide plate on the tube to knock it loose from the air cylinder. Inspect the sample tube for excessive wear, pitting, or abrasion, and replace if necessary. Reinstallation of the sample tube is the same as removal. Removal of the seals and spaces from the housing is done 
by removing these two quarter 20 bolts and the snap ring in the nose of the sampler. Start with the bolts. There's also an alignment bolt that holds one of the packing spacers. Seals can be removed with this tool available from Century Equipment simply by hooking the seal with the tool and removing it. After you have moved all of the seals from the housing, some samplers have more seals in different arrangements than others. Um, please refer to your final assembly drawing or the drawing that may have came with your seal kit to verify the direction and orientation of all the seals. Reassembly is done by reinstalling the snap ring. Next in goes the backup ring, followed by one of the first seals. You can use your tool for installation of the seals as well, pushing it down sideways and turning it flat and then seating it once it's down in there being sure to seat it squarely against the front retainer ring. And then put your front spacer in. That can also be pushed in as so. Followed by another seal. The seal also uh, cut towards the process. You want to push it down sideways orientation until you get it down to the bottom and then you can seat it in the housing. Next is followed by the discharge spacer. The discharge hole is slotted and angled. Lines up with the discharge tube. we will drop that down in. To line up the slot for the retaining bolt and reinstall that. Followed by an additional, the last seal in this sampler model. Place that down in the housing followed by the backup spacer 
and the retainer plate. sampler housing is now ready to reinstall on the sampler. Take note of the discharge hole in the sample tube is to line up with the discharge hole of the housing. This also may need to be pushed together down on the floor. Once reinstalled, you can reinstall your 5 16 bolts. Nuts and lock washers. reinstall 